Hello everyone, I'm Cryptic Fox, and welcome back to some more Bear Food Simulator. Uh, we're playing uh, Icarus tonight as we continue our open world campaign, which is one of the new features they added to the game. So we don't have to do just specific missions to the planet and then return all the time. We actually have a base that's persistent, and we can get missions on the surface uh, to keep on the planet and do some stuff. Uh, up until this point playing the game, I've never bothered to build into the Tier 4 stuff. I mean, I think we get, like, the one crafting bench or whatever, and then that's that's typically it. Or just, like, a couple little things that are needed to complete specific missions. Uh, but since we have the open world option now and our base is more persistent, I thought it would be a good idea to finally get to the point where we get to build some of that cool Tier 4 stuff. Maybe ultimately make a base out of, like, concrete and glass and, I don't know, aluminum or something I think is an option in there. Something that looks a little bit more interesting than just the uh, the cobblestone we've been working with. But uh, it's going to take a while to get there. And tonight we're going to work on getting more towards Tier 4. We're just going to take a lot of things like gold and what have you to do all the chips and stuff we have to we have to make. But welcome everyone who's here in the chat so far. Or if you're watching on the channel afterwards, welcome as well. As always, big thanks to everyone who's clicked on that join button to become a channel member. I do appreciate the support. And a special thanks to all of our top tier Mistakes Are Made members that were highlighted right at the start of the stream. This is our humble abode for the moment. Uh, it's not very big, but it's got stuff in it. You know. We got up to the fabricator bench crafted in here anyway, which uh, gets us access to a few different things. Drilling mines and sprinklers and kitchen things and what have you. Um... But I think in order to get the, uh, the like the full tier four stuff, there's going to be more things we need to unlock. So tier four is uh, in like the, I think it's actually it is made on this fabricator bench if I'm not mistaken. But there's things like electric furnaces and we got our generators and radars and all that kind of junk. Uh, but way over here in the building options um, are all the kitchen things that I have unlocked before. Uh, I would like to make some of those. Maybe get some more electric stuff going. I, I want to make the uh, the water wheel. I'm trying to see how that thing works, too. Uh, I'm pretty sure for the water wheel, we have to craft the wheel itself, and then also the wiring that we can use to wire into the different things. Uh, and then we'll probably want to actually have stuff we can make out of the uh, the electrical junk. Anyway, we'll see what happens. Uh, I do have uh, a drill working right now, I think, in a cave, uh, gathering gold for us. Um, I think I left the corn too long. <laughs> I forgot it goes bad if you don't harvest it. I thought it would just sort of stay there, but apparently not so much. Ice Cream Taco with the 12-month member message. Happy New Year. May all your potato aims come true. Well, thank you for the uh, the 12 months of support, Ice Cream Taco. Mmm, Ice Cream Tacos. Uh, I might as well deactivate this. It's not actually making anything. <clears throat> uh, yeah, so somewhere here I have more corn, I think, that I can plant. If I can just figure out where I put it. Because I, I don't have, like, a... A proper kitchen area yet. I thought I put corn here somewhere. I'm starting to think maybe I didn't. Because <laughs> I'm not seeing any, unless it just went bad. It might actually might be these spoiled plants in here. We might have to harvest more corn so we can plant more corn, but whatever. It's not um, not really an urgent thing. Oh, you know what? It's probably it there. Spoiled plants in there. Yum. What's happened if corn? Uh, what happens with corn IRL if you don't harvest it? Well, it'll the stalks will all dry out and it'll kind of like dry out on the on the stalk kind of thing. I don't know exactly what the how long it takes for that to happen. I do know that it doesn't take very long in this game though. Um, okay, so somewhere over here there was a cave that we had mined. Or was it down here? Over here? Somewhere over here? Maybe it was down here. Ah, oh, crap! I don't remember where that cave was. And you can't mark things on this game for very long. <laughs> so, uh, I gotta find the cave where we set up that fancy uh, deep gold mining thing. So I can go find out what gold we got out of it. Yeah, the no wither talent. My talents are already all spent, so I don't really have that option so much. Unless I, like, refund all my talents and rebuy them. Oh, fancy Jaguar. We'll just throw this on our skinning bench. Can't go wrong with more bones and leather and stuff, I guess. <sighs> You're about to die, Usalichu. No, I'm not about to die. I'm the murdering machine. 
You know, except for this guy, and I'm, I'm not murdering him very well. Okay, you know what? Hold still, bird. Alright, we let him go, because we're magnanimous that way. We weren't really trying to kill him, that was, uh... That was just a warning shot, to tell him to keep away. That's what that was. <laughs> uh, what about for those about to rock? We salute you, that's what... That's what uh, There we go. I didn't really need to kill this thing. I just needed to prove that I could actually hit something. <laughs> Sharpshooter plus, that's right. <laughs> Mad skills. We'll have to set up some stuff to gather exotics too, I guess, while we're down here. Since we're uh, on a permanent mission on the planet, we can send exotics back up using a dropship. That'll get us more, uh, more money to spend. And by money, I mean exotics, I guess. I think the cave was, like, over here somewhere. Might be just up around the bend. Just around the river bend. Like, right here? Yeah, there it is. I haven't been in here in a little bit, though, so it's probably respawned with cave worms. Gross. I don't know if I should bother. Well, you know what? We'll take it for now. I don't know if I need any more of the cave worm parts. I know we can use them for making, like, uh, defenses or whatever around the base. Little spike wall kind of thing. But from what I've seen, those aren't really all that necessary. So, this is the drill we set up last time. I don't remember how long this has run since. Oh, actually, I got 24 gold out of it. That's not bad. Still going good source of, uh, I don't know, I don't think it's like perpetual gold. Cause you have to keep feeding it, but aside from having to put fuel into it, it's perpetual gold, I guess. No exotics on open world. Well, then what do you call this? Like this isn't an exotic deposit, but you can you can use this thing and convert it into exotics, and then you call down a dropship and you send them back up to the the, uh, the station or whatever. So we harvest exotics from this from the enzymes. <laughs> you're lying! You're tricking me. Dum -dum. Enzymes are exotic to fox. It says right on it. Place a vapor condenser on top to harvest exotics and condensed enzymes. Does it only give you condensed enzymes but no exotics? What do you do with condensed enzymes? You only get enzymes. Really? That's weird. That's very strange. I wonder why they made that choice. I disapprove. I guess I should put beacons out. That might actually help me find things on the map. Should put a beacon out at my home. It's a thing to make a beacon. I don't know that I've ever used them in the game. <laughs> I think you do the same thing with den condensed enzymes you do with condensed milk. Oh, so you make like sweet dessert things. Nice. Okay, where do I make the beacon thing? Is that here? Concrete furnace. Deep field mining drill. Radar. Cave scanner. No, no, no. I'm sure there's like a beacon or something we can make that like marks things for us. Maybe I haven't unlocked it because I never use it. Is it in here maybe? Radar, extractor, furnace. Portable beacon. Yeah, this thing. I gotta get composites, though. Beacon uses solar power, so it only works during the day. At night, it won't show on the map. Oh. Well, that sucks. Man. He's just messing with me. Mind you, if I connect it... Wait. No, no. I, I probably can't connect a wire to it, can I? 
Any fun missing the first few minutes? No, no, the base wasn't on fire or anything when I logged in this time, because it's made out of stone. It's now fire resistant. So, you know, that's the thing. Um, we need the materials processor, I think, to make, uh... Where is it? To make composites, right? Chemistry bench. I'm gonna make solar panels, maybe, and so I don't know, we'll see. Um... Here's the water wheel. We can craft those if I can get some more electronics going. So that might be a good option. Start to get some power in this place. I need epoxy, resin, copper, and gold. Gold! All the gold! Alright. Activate that. Get the gold out of here. Like copper might be a limiting factor right now. I might actually have to go find a another like a copper deposit or a cave that I haven't hit up yet that has some in it. Yeah. <coughs> Excuse me. I'm definitely not uh definitely not loaded up with copper, although we've got quite a bit of iron. <laughs> We're doing okay on the iron side of things. Not bad in terms of iron. Fire resistant, fireproof. It does not. Oh, it does not. Yeah. Well, it's not fireproof, per se. But I've never seen it burn. Apparently now the da the buildings can get damaged if the storm's intense enough. But I don't. Uh, I don't really know nothing about that. Um, I want to put all this extra stuff away. Oh wait, I need wood for the uh wood for the fire over here. Wonder twin powers activate. Cooked gamey meat. Oh, it's a cooked prime meat. The gamey meat is a prime meat? That's interesting. Uh and so is this though. So that doesn't make a difference. It's the same as everything else. I think food is one of the options they could they really ought to do some tweaking with in this game. They seem to have like a bunch of different options to make things, but so many of them count as the same thing that it's just kind of inconsequential. I think I'll put a kitchen thing up here. Um, how do I build again? <laughs> I literally don't remember how to build. Oh right. In this game, you gotta build the thing first and then place it, don't you? My god. Brain bad. Uh, I don't have copper nails, but I have four copper ingots. I can turn those into nails. Building tier four on porpoise? Don't tell the haters, smiley. <laughs> well, I haven't gotten to the point of building tier four stuff yet, but we will. The thing is, like, I, I just don't see, like, in a normal mission, I don't see the point in building that. So up to that tier. What do I need for that other torch? Sticks and fiber. Uh, yeah, so anyway, in, in a normal uh, normal game, I, don't, I really don't see the point in building up to tier 4, because you just end up leaving the planet so soon, and then it all just goes to waste. But if we have a, a base that's going to hang around for a while, it might be fun to get some of the... Uh, some of the higher tier things I've never used before, just to see what they're like from a quality of life perspective. Alright. Uh, nails I've acquired. What else was I... What was I doing? I was building the thing. Oh yeah, kitchen thing. That's what I wanted. Oh wait. No, no, I don't want that one. I want the... app. The cooking station. That's what I want. That'll let me make fat that I can use to make candles in here so I don't have to use my torch all the time. Uh, I need stone. Yes, stone. There we go. That's better. Mm -hmm. Fox, are you a fan of dark humor? If so, I got uh, I got good, not racist jokes. <laughs> uh, I mean, I do like dark humor. Now I'm concerned that you said there. You made a point of specifically saying they're non-racist. Like, no, no, I swear, they're not racist. <laughs> uh, 
Yeah. I don't know where to put this thing. I, I, I'm i lacking room here. That's what I've come to realize. Okay, we'll put the kitchen up in the, uh, up in the upper level where it's definitely not going to be in the way. Okay, uh, I did get meat here. Let's grab that out of here. I can turn this into fat. Instead of, wait, that's cooked. Ah, oh, crap, I cooked it already. Man, why is this thing so efficient? I swear, I just put meat in there. Oh well. Guess we gotta get more meat. Oh, maybe over here. Ah, there we go. Well, <laughs> four. Most of it went bad. They changed something with that. I thought it was uh, only used in cooking. Yeah, you can make candles with it too. So there's like this. Uh, I, I don't know what the, the, the table's called. It's like the rustic bench or whatever. This thing here, rustic decoration bench. I don't have so much meat in my decoration bench. <laughs> no, anyway. Um, with, 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 with sticks and animal fat, you can make these candles, and then the candles will just, uh, they, they light up the place quite nicely. Boop. Uh, I'll make like four of these. Okay, candles acquired. Um, deployed. Put one on here. Put one over here. Okay, now I gotta fuel these things. I guess I'm gonna need... I don't know. Well, actually, I have the site. I could probably just fill them up with fiber. Fiber-powered candles. It makes perfect sense, really. I would explain it. Never made that bench. I have the interior decorating skills of a blind man. <laughs> I mean, the decor doesn't really do anything. It just uh, gives you something else to look at, you know. Functionally, it's um, I don't know. It doesn't really mean a lot. Okay. Uh, access inventory. There we go. Some fuel. Activate. It's not perfect, but it does add a decent amount of light. So, like, this is with my torch on, this is my torch off. It's pretty good. All things considered. The candles are, like, my favorite thing out of here. There's the other decorative items in here, too. Like, you got, like, seats and shelving and tables and scorpion statues and stuff. I didn't know these were in here. I guess I haven't made the statues yet. Anyway, there's more decorative things in there. Uh, which is kind of nice, but the candles are really functional because I, I am, I'm always like burning down my torch by running around in here And I don't I can't be bothered making standing torches This didn't seem worth it, but the candles are kind of cool and they last a long time So that's a bonus uh, more gold for making chips All right, so uh, I got the kitchen thing up there. It's really not ideal, but when I build the bigger base, we'll uh, we'll build a proper kitchen space because I'm really really limited here. Um, anyway, I need to get uh, I need to get copper. Gotta get copper so we can make more of these uh, electronic thing, majigaboobers. I also need carbon paste, which is gonna require more epoxy. Gotta get the bones out of here. Oh, I don't have that many. I guess I must have epoxied a lot of bones, because I thought I had more. I 
Next there's gonna be a goat trying to sell you essential oils. <laughs> yeah. Hey Fox, awesome to catch you live. I just finished bringing your grounded playthrough with Nate. Uh, finish the game story, so now I'm gonna watch them. What do you think of playing with Nate again? Uh, so probably on Thursday. As long as Nate's available anyway. As far as I know, that's the plan. I need a lot of epoxy. Apparently I need silica too. And organic resin. Um, which is just wooden oxide. Got a little bit of silica left in here. Probably have to try to mine up some more of that too, I guess. <clears throat> need a bear to play with. No, we don't need no stinking bears. <clears throat> Ain't no bears walking around here, man. Oh, I wanted, I should really want to do some stuff with that upgrade bench, too. I've never used that thing. This is the first space I've built it in. I'll have to do that as well. Need more Oh, good. Two things I need right here. <laughs> here, bears. Da, bears. Silica and oxide. <clears throat> so the the most recent update to the game, they they decided to add shields into the game for some reason. So now you can make a wooden shield. In the event you want to fight things a little differently by like blocking and attacking as opposed to like just killing it fast, <laughs> or or in the case of the bears doing the whole dodgy thing, <clears throat> they've added shields in so you can now like block and counterattack. So now we really have all of the most high-tech equipment we can get. Stone tools, wooden shields, definitely seems space-age. <laughs> it seems like a very odd choice to me. <laughs> yeah, we're going medieval, yeah. That's probably enough for now. Come on. You said the shields are for people to practice before the AI rework. Alright. Still seems like a weird thing to add to the game, though. You can be struck by lightning, yeah. This isn't a lightning storm, though. This one's just a windstorm. So lightning's not really, not really in the cards, you know. Uh, let's make as much of this as we can. I have to put some more wood in there, I guess. Whoops, my hand is off. Travis G with a 16-month member message. Great content. I always enjoy your content and uh, enjoy watching your content. Really. Heard they have issues with this map, like stutters and stuff like that. Uh, I don't know if it's just this map. It does happen more frequently, I think, on sticks than on the other maps. It tends to happen when you're walking. Almost like it's, uh, like, trying to load an asset that's at a distance, and it causes a little hiccup. It's not, like, a... It's not, like, a huge problem, but it, it does certainly happen. It, it is kind of annoying. It's not game-breaking, it's just a little bit annoying. Um, sulfur. Let's put the rest of this in here. I'm sure I'll need more cement eventually. I'm hungry? Uh, I guess I am. There we go. I fed myself. Like a feeding person. I don't remember what I can make with this bench. Aside from the fat. That's pretty much all I ever use it for, but... Uh, fruit salad would be a good option, I guess. I know there's some, uh, some watermelon nearby. Creamed corn is also really good, but I kind of accidentally let the corn die. Wait, you can make raw meat? That's weird. 
can turn higher quality meats into regular meats. Oh, very strange. I feel weirdly disoriented today. I don't know what it is. Maybe it was just one of those work days. Didn't that the Wiggles? The Wiggles have a song called Fruit Salad? I mean, maybe. My girls were never super into the Wiggles. They did watch them a little bit, but... There's the watermelons. Get some watermelon sugar high. Should do his... I heard combat music, but it's hard to tell over the wind. Maybe you're disoriented, Fox. Have you tried to reorient yourself? I I'm drinking a beer right now to try to reorient myself. <laughs> we'll see how it works. Have you done any farming in this game? Only a very little bit of it. Uh, again, like, uh, on the normal missions, it, it just didn't seem worth it. Here are the, far the crop plots, though. Um, I guess I probably should have planted some watermelon or something, so I had some more growing right here. I can, I can plant a pumpkin over there. Let's, uh, let's grind up some more watermelon we can plant. We need, like, four of them, I guess. Yeah, in the normal the normal game mode, it just never seemed worth it because there's there's such an abundance of food that to make the effort to grow it just didn't feel like it was worth it. I only got me two. It's really windy out here. See more over here. Three. And there's a fourth one up here. Oh, I think. Holy pumpkin patch over here. It's a great it's a great pumpkin, Charlie Brown. I don't remember farming being letting your plants die. Well, you just weren't farming the right way. That's all. <laughs> I never said I had a green thumb. It's distinctly more brown, I think. Okay. Uh, how do I take one of these again? Wait, where'd the other one go? What? Ow! Back off! Oh, got him mid-air. Not that it was a long way down. Okay. Boop. Oops. <laughs> That's not how you plant them, I don't think. How do you take one of them? I don't remember how to take just one. Split stack transfer. No, maybe I had to split stacks or something. I don't know. Weird. Whatever. Doesn't matter. I'll make another fruit salad out of the last one. When you can, you should make that deep ore scanner to find more deposits for you. Yeah, it's probably not a bad idea. Couldn't respect down. You need the talent that keeps the food from spoiling in the crop plots. Uh, then you just leave them there until you need them. Yeah, I'd have to go through all the trouble of like redoing all my talent points, and I just don't want to. I'm too lazy. I, th I assume that's in the cooking farming thing. Banded crops grow faster. Lid fire, filling meals. Faster growth, bumper crop, yield more crops. Crops growing in a crop lot do not wither away when they finish growing. See, I'd have to like spend a whole bunch of points to unlock this thing. Like, no, I can't be bothered. <laughs> Shift click, control tick. Uh, the control click moves the whole thing. Maybe shift click will let me do it. I don't know. Doesn't matter. Figure it out. 
All right. Definitely have lots of food, so I'm good in that way. Uh, I need to find a cave. We gotta get more copper. Need more copper. See, copper. Oops. I seem to recall there was one like down here somewhere, right? Somewhere in that general vicinity. We're gonna discover one there. Good night, Irene. Wait a minute. I already did that one. Is it over here, maybe? I really, really wish it would, like, mark things on the map for you when you discover them. We've seen your Valheim Garden best just to avoid it. Listen, I'm only supplying food for one person. It doesn't need to be the most efficient farm in the world. It just needs to meet my needs. Besides, I kind of get a kick out of driving people nuts with it. Ooh, what is this one? Deep mining deposit for iron. Again, I wish I could mark it with a marker, but I can't. Can you put down map markers? There's like beacons you can put out. But apparently they only work during the daytime because they're solar powered and you need a whole bunch of materials to craft the darn things. Someone said there's a cave in the lake, I think. I don't know where though. But I've heard there's a cave in the water. Somebody's poison the water hole. Even Jim says there's an underwater cave in the lake. I don't know where it is, though. Yeah, I, you can set one mark, but that doesn't help me, because I, I, like, setting one marker I use for, like, navigating to different points, but I don't want to leave it all the time, you know? I want to switch it around or whatever it is I want to try to navigate to. Yeah, <sighs> bowstrings work underwater. No trouble. Oh, that is a fast falling arrow right there. Where are you, cave? There's a point where you're just starting to go under that like you can you can see without the fog. It's probably the rock formation over here. I think I see it there. What if you erected a stone column next to the puzzles? So you could at least see it at a distance. Yeah, that might work. It wouldn't help, like, see it on the map or anything, but wait a minute. It looks like a cave, but I'm not allowed to swim deep enough to go into it. It's not really a cave. And there's a train mess up right there. Oh, oh, the whole thing's a train mess. Oh. All right, never mind. <laughs> Can't go in there. A big fish. Can't go in there either. There is a draw distance though with the game also so like I, I don't know how much it would help I guess to a certain degree to be all right because like if I got within a certain range of it I'd still be able to see it so it might still be helpful but okay I don't know where this is I love your channel to move one item is alt click oh 
Awesome. Thanks, Zilla. I was control clicking and it wasn't working very well. I tried control click, shift click. Is this it? This looks cavey. There we go. I think I don't have to hold my breath. You're probably surprised to learn this, but the torch doesn't work underwater. Cave is huge, but there's like nothing you can do in here. <laughs> You're drowning, yeah, that's what it is. I'm drowning. Oh my god. Good thing we brought our own oxygen supply. This thing is huge. There's two caves near. Oh, that's cool. You're in a spacesuit. Why would you need to hold your breath? Yeah, exactly. But I can still get pneumonia. Figure that out. <laughs> what about this moss here at the entranceway? Definitely copper in here. Alright, that's all she wrote. Oh no, I didn't fix my tools before I came. Oh, hopefully this will be enough. <clears throat> Make sure we have the platinum so I can fix this pickaxe I've got. Uh, we've got iron. I'm not really worried about iron because I have a lot of it at the moment. I guess we'll focus on the copper. Two caves. Where does one cave start and the other one end? Best not to ask, Rabin. Please drop your torch in the water again. <laughs> no, I don't have that issue anymore. I can just have it on my belt. I used to only do that when I was like in a cave mining and I couldn't do that. Playing this game when they added worms to the cave, uh, to the cave, like they forced you to go into caves and then punish you for going into the caves. Well, I think it was just like a, a, some, like some effort to make it more difficult or something. I don't know. Or they, I think they were trying to discourage people making cave bases right off the bat. Although why, I don't know exactly. They kind of make being in a cave pretty hard in this game. The whole pneumonia thing and what have you. Yeah, you won't get me alive, see, copper. You never take me alive. Okay, most of what's left in here, I think, is well, I got a little bit of iron because I want to make some more arrows, and I don't think I have any more of the ore. But I don't need a lot of it right now. I have quite a bit of iron. Granted, I wouldn't want to make steel, I guess, but we can come back and get more as I need it. I want to go find, see if we can find that other cave you're talking about so we can get our hands on some more copper. Hey, South Boss, how you doing? Man, Minecraft looking different. Yeah, this is one of them uh, high definition mods or whatever.
can't see very well in here. That must be the other one there. Yeah, shader. One of them high-res shader things. Start playing this again as of yesterday, thanks to you. Oh, I'm sorry. <laughs> oh, man. Not a lot of clearance in this one. How did grass grow down here exactly? There's no light. That's impressive. I'm also hearing animals on the surface, even though I'm definitely not in a place to be able to hear them. Alright, this one's a little bigger. Oh, where'd the water come from? I'm drowning. What the heck happened? What? I jumped right here and I ended up in water. Okay, that's that's as a glitch right there, I'd say. <laughs> Game's out to get me, man. Can't see him over there. Yeah. Aw, oh, that's cheating. Oh, they're... Okay, you know what? No. Bad worm. Oh, come on. Oh my god, this cave is messed up. They can't decide if it's underwater or not. <laughs> Jeez. Oh my god. Note to self, don't go over that way. <laughs> oh, okay. Well, this is good. What is mine underwater, I guess? So weird. The moon's covered in space grass. No, that's mold, because the moon's made out of cheese. Come on, man. Space grass, how unrealistic. It's mold. This game needs a head mounted light that can work underwater. Yes, it certainly does. It's very weird that they don't have that as a module you can add in. Mind you, there's only a limited number of module spots, but like if they put a if they put a module spot on the helmet that let you put like just a light attachment in there. Or something that'd be great I'd be down for that yeah that, that jump move didn't really work very well I should probably just make those it's a little rampy thing that went not where I thought it would <laughs> yeah that worked all part of the plan man yeah let's go find that copper I need oh god I'm not gonna wait here already Got barely any copper. I'm almost overweight. I'll leave the gold for now. Oh, there's another. Oh, look, it's another gold deposit here. Deep mining or deposit gold, but I don't need gold necessarily. I mean, I might, I guess. I don't know. The moon's made of cheese. What type of cheese is it? Yeah, it's moon cheese. Or maybe. 
probably like Swiss cheese, but from like this distance, you can't see the holes as effectively. They just look like craters. Get the gold needed for tier four stuff. Well, I know, but I, I have another gold, um, little gold mining thing already going. Um, and my carry capacity is already limited. I need the copper really badly for, uh, for making chips. Mmm, chips. Alright, I already can't carry enough. I gotta go back. That's a shame, because this is really deep in this cave. <laughs> Oh, and it's dark as night in here. Great! It used to be always lit in the water. Oh, God. Okay, now I'm screwed. I don't understand. The water used to always be lit up. What happened? They changed physics on me. Time of day used to not matter. I mean, it was weird, but it was helpful. Yeah, I can make a cart for the oxen, but I don't have an oxen for one and two. I don't have the cart and three. It's really hard to get a cart under the uh, under the lake with an oxen attached to it. Oh my god, I cannot see where I'm going. If it's any consolation, I know it's super dark on stream. It's not really much better lit for me. <laughs> I'm gonna get stuck down here. Oh, I got... Alright. Found the surface. I also got bit by a poison fish, the little jerk. Uh... Hey, you know what? Kill them all! Go west. Go west, young man! It's nighttime, that's why it's so dark. No, I know, but um, it used to be that, regardless of the time of day, if you went underwater, it was lit. And by lit, I don't mean awesome. Oh, a little bit of lagginess there. Alright, we're free. I remember what the reed flower is for. Is that the pneumonia one? Which I have currently. Dang it. Oh, crocodile. Oh, don't shoot. Oh, another crocodile. Okay, we're in crocodile land. Uh, let's try to go around them. Take more flowers. Oh, God. Is it chasing me? Nope, nope. I thought I heard the combat music. We're all right. It's fine. Everything's fine. Freaking dark, man. Yeast is for the cave lung? Oh, crap. Now I got a crocodile on me. Smokey, you little jerk. That's what you get. Mess with the fox, you get the potatoes. Ooh, I'm really close to being overweight. <laughs> Gotta repair my bow, too. I need that Valheim repairing mechanism where it like doesn't consume anything to repair stuff. Just spam the button. Where's our YouTube integration with this game? Right? Yeah. I mean, there's no kind. Of, there's no kind of integration with YouTube for any game, sadly. I feel like it would be cool if they had it for a variety of games, actually. 
Sadly, it is not to be. I think this waterfall up here is the one that's next to our house. Lame YouTube? Not really. Well, yeah, I mean, they have a lot of other things, but they don't have that. I guess. Alright, we made it home. Save it sound. Perfectly fine. Definitely didn't almost die. Um, oh, I did build the herbalism bench. Nice. Okay, so the stamina tonic... Any parasitic tonic is the one that has reed flower. That's right. I knew that. Or something. Also things. Ooh, overweight. Okay, charcoals needed in there. Let's uh What kind of meat we got here? Raw meat or white meat? It's the other 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 white meat. The raw meat, I think I'm just going to turn into fat. We use that for, like, cream corn recipes or something when we get our hands on some more corn. Get to work. Do my chopping business. Alright. Smeltifying. We need, uh... Well, the platinum can go in there. Titanium can go in there. Oh, I need the um, iron ore for more arrows. Copper can just go in here. Oh, probably need to pull some of this out. There we go. Oh, gold is going to smelt over here too. Actually, I can't remember. Is there a certain number of gold we need that's not smelted? I'm gonna hold on to that just in case. Oh, crap. Stupid candles. Put the candles in the wrong spot, I think. You know what would happen with something like that? We'd have just have... Uh, we have things happen just as the gator go after it. Yeah, it would be chaotic. It would be the kind of thing I would definitely would not want to have turned on all the time. I mean, if you're not crawling home in the dark, 500 kilograms overweight, are you even, are you even playing the game? Yeah, fair enough. <laughs> it's such a slow, slow travel, though, when you're that overweight. Okay. Uh, right. Chips. No, wait. What was I making? I was making a thing that needed some stuff that had some other junk. I know I wanted to make beacons. I should really fix my... Um, platinum. Fix my pickaxe here. Can't repair that here. <clears throat> You're making chips for salsa. Oh yeah, the salsa chips. Mmm, chips. Uh, the axe I can't repair right now, because I don't have the uh, fancy bench made for that. I don't think. Oh wait, or is this the repair bench back here? Alteration bent? No, that's just all alteration. Last ye game. Fabricator made. I should get a glass working bench, but I don't have room for it in here. Oh, there's the repair bench. Uh, 20 aluminum and some wood. Or wood. I'm gonna have to go dig up some more wood. That's what you do with wood. You dig it. It's fine. Don't question it.
Ooh, this weather's great. All right, half the trees around my house burned down, didn't they? <laughs> it's gonna make gathering wood slightly more challenging. Listen, I didn't set those trees on fire. The game did it all on its own. <laughs> Just because I created the campfire that resulted in the fire, most likely. We still don't know for certain because, you know, reasons. Okay, repair bench. This almost like a 3D printer or something. Okay. This I have never used before. Big. It's bigger than I would like it to be. Uh. Well, crud. Ooh, it will fit here, though. And I bet you it needs power. <laughs> Press E to interact. Repairing requires all associated repair materials as normal. An active electrical connection will allow tier 4 and workshop items to be repaired. Okay, so I've got to get. Oh, I can repair torches in here? That's nutty. Okay, I need power, I guess, before I can repair the workshop stuff. But at least I have it. And I love how the door swings into it. How do I close the door now? There we go. <laughs> Hooray! It's one of those magic doors. See you, newbie cakes. Like, oh, I just found your first two-star secret in Mistlands. He hits like a truck driven by another truck. <laughs> yeah, I bet. Alright, I need, um... Things. Oh, I wanted to make the, um... The water wheel. So water wheels, 10 electronics. I'm probably going to need two water wheels, I'm guessing, if I want to make a decent amount of power. Uh, 50 copper nails. Organic resin, stone. We got most of this stuff, I guess. Organic resin? I need, oops. Oh, you gotta actually drag it when you have the like, alt. See, I was trying to, like, alt-click it and just have it, like, send over one, but you gotta drag it. Onyx Pond with Super Chat, Blathering Blatterskites. Chimney Jillikers. I've said the words so often they've lost all meaning. Uh, oh, steel ingots I need. I did start making steel, I thought, last time we played. Titanium, titanium. Did I not? I thought I had made some, uh... Maybe I can... Maybe, I'll, maybe I used it all already. I thought for sure I had made some of the steel bloom. Seems I might not have. I can eat lag, don't lag back. <laughs> Quick, we need 500 cc's of maple syrup. I don't know what's going on with the connection there. My uh, my internet looks fine. I definitely see a drop in concurrent viewers, so that that's positive. Checking my own stream. Seems to be working. There's a good 10 second delay, though, which is weird. 
Almost time to build a bump out for the base. I actually need to build another base. Uh, I already built one bump out on this thing. I added an extra row to it, but... Uh, what time is it for me right now? It is 9.01 p.m. Eastern Time. There's like a 10 or 15 second delay. YouTube's what happened, yeah. Good old YouTube. Oh, me too. Maybe the storm knocked it out. We did have a storm here in Icarus that might have been responsible. Uh, okay, so steel boom is in process. It's funny the water wheel is built in this bench. Uh, I also need copper nails. Yeah, give me like ten of these, I guess. I can hear two and to drop the lowest quality just to watch. Yeah, I don't know what the deal is. Yeah, my uh, my bitrate's been stable the whole time. Maybe just a weird YouTube thing. Good old YouTubes. I hate that because it uh, inevitably impacts the number of people that are watching. Also, as people like bail, They're like I can't watch this. It ain't working. Okay, copper nails acquired. Uh, I need 20 electronics and then like 20 steel ingots because I want to make two of these wheels. Electronics I need... Well, I need copper for that. How about that? Seventeen! Oh, come on. It's the organic resin that's limiting me. I gotta make more resin. Mm, sure. I think I'll 93 of it. Did I get my bitrate spear too? Maybe. Maybe they were just staggering and had the hiccups a little bit, you know? A little too heavy on the beer. Mm, beer. Oh, I need fuel. Uh, Alright, I guess that's a thing. <laughs> I've got all of nine wood on me. That's not going to get this thing very far. But at least I can get started. I'm going to have to go chop more trees down. Or, I guess I could get, I could throw some coal in there. But coal's a much more limited resource. So don't think I'm gonna. She's working fine for you, New Zealand. Well, that's good. Might be a different YouTube servers. Oh, boy! Hey, buddy. Ooh, crit right in the eyeball. You want a matching one? Oh, right through the eye. Ow! Jeez, Jaguar bear combo! Oh, you know what? Probably should eat some food. Alright, I came up for wood and I came back with dead animals. Sounds about right. Yeah, no deaths yet. I don't die as often in this game as I used to. Me and my big freaking mouth. Honestly, where are all these jaguars coming from and why can't I pick this one up? There we go. Did you get 20 deaths yet? Nope. Haven't even killed 20 animals yet. But we got a good start. Some more of that prime meat, I guess. Ordered it from Amazon on Prime, apparently. Where was that bear that I killed? You'd think its body would be kind of big and stand out a bit. Wait a minute. Is that Komodo eating my bear? You never... You never mess with another man's rhubarb. Or his bear. I cannot pick this thing up. Apparently they're very densely packed. Is everybody rushing to make shorts? What's this now? 
YouTube Mobile's trash right now, starting at 144p. No, I've got it. Yeah, well, they, uh, they've, they've just... Uh, YouTube just sent out an update this week to creators telling them that um, monetization for shorts was going to start. So, it very well could be that uh, some people are ramming and jamming the shorts now. I, I should make more of them, but I just never, uh, I never pay enough attention when I'm playing to clip out useful segments. I literally didn't even find the bear corpse. I don't know where it went. Oh, I mean, it's right there. Actually, I can see it from here. <laughs> Never mind. Found it. Holy. That's a power swing. I think the Komodo Dragon was trying to eat this thing. Beauty. And clipping shorts later is kind of a pain. It can be, yeah. So I have my OBS set up so I can just hit a button and it will grab a clip for me. Um, at one point I was recording all of my streams because you can't download a good quality copy of a stream from YouTube. It always lowers the quality and makes it look like trash. Um, I know I got that wood for a reason, and I literally have no idea what now. <laughs> God. Um, oh, right. I needed fuel for this thing. <laughs> um, anyway, I, I was, uh, I was recording all the streams at one point, and then just, like, trying to, I was trying to, like, edit them down and post them on uh, another channel, but it was just so much work, I stopped doing it. It takes a long time to edit down a, a three-hour stream video. Anyway, if I actually remember to hit the, the clip button when something interesting happens, then I'll, I can use that for shorts. And then it just saves like a little 60 set, like the last 60 seconds that took place on stream as its own little separate video file. Well, if it isn't the Adventure Channel. Another channel you cheating on us with another channel, Fox? I, I am, actually. <laughs> it's the Cryptic Fox Unleashed channel. I was putting them over there. I have another channel I've just been experimenting with. Um, but it's like a no commentary channel, so it's really not... I don't expect it to really do anything. Trying to see what I got here for metals. 17 there. What was I making more of? That I, oh, yeah, I need more of this. That'll get me. No, no, it won't. I need more copper. Oh, crap. I used all the copper. Dang it. Oh, good. Okay. Three more of those gets me that. Try to cheat on you. Hey Ashley, how you doing? <laughs> Interesting, like burning your house in down in the intro. Yeah, that would have been a that would have been an ideal clip actually. <laughs> like YouTube has this option where you can choose to clip, but it, it doesn't save it as like as its own separate video file. It's just like a a link over basically. It's a little little less useful. Now the Reaper's here. Are you looking to die for me? No, no dying. Cryptic Fox, we knew about. Tell us about the uh, about the Cryptic Fox steps on shovels and rakes channel. That one sounded exciting. <laughs> Be like sideshow Bob or whatever. Um, oh, I made a whole bunch of crushed bone. Okay. Um. Uh. Mm. Did my steel finish making? Titanium. 
steel. I needed 20 steel, I believe, for the water wheel. Nope, still not available. Oh, I made the electronics. I didn't move them over. Oh, yo. Gosh. And I need wood. Okay, two water wheels coming right up. And monetize shorts on February 1st. Yeah, so this week they're sending out the, the modified uh, agreements that you know, that creators have to agree to with YouTube. And then uh, I guess when they release that update, then you can actually monetize things. If, if you're a shorts creator. I, don't, I really don't make shorts, like I said. I, I have a few of them, but they've just been like random funny things that have happened during a stream. I've not made them my focus because... I've seen people get millions and millions of views and make 50 cents off them. And I was like, well, that seems worth it. <laughs> Deploy. I wanna... This has to go pretty far out in the water, actually. I don't even know if I can put these things back to, or like side to side, the way I was thinking. There's one. I'm drowning, I'm drowning. Okay, something's not right there. <laughs> it's paddling upstream. How does that even work? Clearly, that's not a thing. Jeez. I guess I gotta turn it around. I don't know if it makes a difference for electric, like whether it generates power or not, but it's definitely silly looking. Unless there's a way to like set the direction on it. So the water wheel will slowly accumulate items that float into it while active. When 50 items are present, you'll need to be cleaned out or the water wheel will, uh, for the, all right, that's cool. So I'm thinking like, oh, that's, closer together than I thought it was. Uh, I was thinking I'd put like a like a stone floor thing kind of down here with like a way up to it, like an overhead base, but Okay, I need to make wire. Because without wire, we can't connect this to anything. It's a, it's a, it's a magical water wheel. It's, it's very special. Some might say it's Olympic. Electricity tool. So I need copper, gold, and carbon fiber for that. I need to make uh, these things, which requires more of these things. How far can I, can I stretch the wires for this, I wonder? So four carbon fiber. And we need gold. I have gold here somewhere still. None of those things spin even. They, I don't know. They don't even have to be on the bottom of the water, apparently. It's a little weird of a setup, but... I'm not going to knock it because it benefits me, but it is strange. Twenty copper ingots. Do I have that many left? I said do. Okay, and then eight refined gold. <laughs> I'm worried about refining gold over there, but meanwhile, I've got all kinds of gold over here. Just need the inanimate carbon rod. In rod we trust. Get the gold out of here. Slap that in there. Strangely, water doesn't seem to affect the water wheel. <laughs> yeah, that's weird. Wires work the same as water pipes in this game. Believe it or not, I've never used the water pipes in the game either. So maybe we can like do a few things I've never done before this uh, 
in this game playthrough. We get like uh some like irrigated gardens plots going on maybe with some like piped water and wait a minute, is there a toilet in the game? Can we make a toilet? With real plumbing? Because that'd be great. I feel like my dude's been holding it for like a week. Uh, how do I get up here? <laughs> get down. Water pipe tool, electricity tool. Okay. Like electricity tool acquired. There's not like a storage battery though, is there? So for however much power these things produce, it's really gonna go to waste. How do I connect to this thing? There we go. I accidentally just placed a double node there, I think. Boop. Okay, so we've got that. I think we need some fancy electric lights in here now, too. Uh, repair workshop. There we go. <coughs> Excuse me. Power, don't I? All associated repair materials. And, all right, so... Now the wood torch and the wood hammer are in the unable to repair column where they weren't before. The heck, man. Is there any story for solo survival on a sing on single planet? No, not really. Dustin with the super chat. I feel like my dude's been holding it for a week. Fox, do not look in your boots. Trust me. <laughs> is that what that squishing is? Oh my good. Make a kitchen sink and get water from it. Oh, that's handy. Not that I don't trust cryptic survival skills, but what's the death count? <laughs> Zero so far. Thank you. <laughs> Does electric connect to other workbenches? Um, well, there's like certain things you can connect it to. Uh, there's like an electric furnace and stuff. You have to have the repair kits from the station to fix station. Oh, that sucks. How do I get those? I want them. I guess I should just make myself a platinum axe, maybe. So we can make a replacement for this here, my thingy. Because it's going to break in a little bit. Go with the one I can actually fix. All right, I have electricity. Boom, 1,500 powers is... Is there like a way to see my grid? Like how much I've got going on in the grid here? It's a placement, no, nope. that's not what I want. Chop it, that's what we do, chop the wire. Just like we chop a squid. Disappoint your father. Does this need power? Mm, uh, Cryptic, can you order a drop from the station? I mean, I think there's a way to do it. I don't know that I have what I need to do it. Orbital exchange interface allows you to order a delivery pod for exotic retrieval. No exotic delivery ship detected in area. Click button below to radio and request. So if there's no exotics, why would they have this as an option? Is it just something they haven't incorporated yet? And this one's all missions, so I don't... I think there's like a... I, I don't know if there's something I can do. Advanced alteration bench needs power, not the regular one. Oh, okay. <clears throat> Could it not work because there's no materials in its inventory? I mean, that's possible. I didn't have the repair kits to repair those things I was trying to fix. And for the other ones, it was probably just that I didn't have the materials required to fix it. So, like, for the torch, for example, I think I might need, like, sulfur or sticks or something like that. So now if I go here, repair bench is not sheltered. Really? Now it's fine. It's so weird. Wood torch. Unable to repair. What do I need to repair the wood torch? It doesn't show the uh, repair requirements. Uh, 
Um, Fiber, maybe? Water wheels can't connect in a chain. You have to bring the second wheel uh, over to the wire junction. Uh, I haven't even connected the second wheel yet. I only connected one. See? That one's connectified. Oh. And then this one. Ugh. Come on, let me out of the water. Oh my god. And up to here. Boop. Is it possible I wasn't sending enough power? Like... I only had one water wheel connected so far anyway, but... That door is really a nuisance. I really need to make the bigger base. <laughs> Uh, yeah, I don't know what, I don't know what's needed in here to repair this stuff. Practice safe repairing, shut the door. 2,000 power per what? Water wheel generates 2,000 power, so I've got 4,000 available to me, and this thing consumes 1,500. Well, I have fiber, I have sulfur, I have sticks, maybe I need wood? Maybe it's because it's a wood torch, it needs wood? Ah, uh, there we go. Takes wood. Did it work? Is the torch just not so? I'm very confused. Do I have to put the torch in there to repair it? No, now it's not even an option. That's so weird. It says it takes one wood, but it's also red, like it's not going to work. Maybe I have to have the materials on me instead of in the bench. Oh, it's fixed. But it still says 55%. What the heck? Nope, that's 55%. I'm very confused. <laughs> Something's not working here. You're repaired by dying, yeah, right? <laughs> Probably not repairable still, but showing it up anyway. Yeah, that could be, I guess. Maybe it's just a non-repairable light. It, it is a little weird to like be able to repair a wood torch. But weirder things in games have happened, I'm telling you. Everything's fine. Oh wait, can we build an electric refrigerator in this game? Is there an electric fridge? Do I have it unlocked? It's probably the more important question. Um, is that tier four stuff, the electrics? There it is, I do have it unlocked. It takes aluminum, electronics, carbon fiber, and steel. Requires as 500 power. 40 aluminum though, I don't have that much. I only have 11. All right, more resources required, I guess. Uh, let's just leave the, uh, the wiring tool here. Don't need to bring that with me. I only have 20 arrows left. I need to do that, too. Pyramid seems like a waste, but you can't repair workshop items with other repair kits, and the other stuff you can fix at the benches. Yeah, it is weird. I don't... I don't entirely understand the context of that. Unless at some point later they're going to make it so you can't fix it. Or if it works out cheaper because it doesn't... But it does say you need the resources to fix it, so I'm not sure. It definitely seems like a waste, though. Yeah, that's right. You repair, repair the torch by building a new torch. Exactly. Okay, well, that's fine. Um... I still want to make this materials processor. I have the titanium. I need more carbon fiber. So we'll get that going. 
60 electronics is going to be a lot. Like a lot, a lot. <laughs> I need a whole lot more uh, copper for sure. And what I need to find is a, is a copper node that I can drill into. Refrigerator is well worth it if you're going to make uh, higher end foods. It really cuts down on the rate of spoilage. Yeah, I bet it would. I have the power now. I might as well uh, might as well use it for something. I predict that I'm going to forget to empty out the water wheels, and then I'm going to lose power, and everything in the fridge is going to spoil on me. <laughs> Oh, I should check on those watermelons I planted too, I guess. Being repair kit's down with it. Yeah, but I'm already on the surface. <laughs> I didn't have a lot of money left in uh, the station anyway, so I don't even know if I have enough to afford them. This is the point I started building a concrete base. That's my intention. Be the first concrete base that I've made in the game. It's a Komodo. I went the wrong way. Hello, dear. Multi-repaired torch. This looks like a stick of dynamite with all the wood burned at the end taped together. <laughs> nice. Only the finest high technology in easier blazes. It could be raining a bit. You can go back up to your spaceship and then come right back down again. Do you lose anything? Now, where was that cave? <laughs> I didn't have it marked. And I should have looked at the map when I swam into it so I knew where it was. Uh, you're right, I didn't grab my arrows. I still got 20, so we'll be alright, I think, for now. Yeah, there are sponges in the game. Probably get some from our water wheel. Biofuel generator produces twice the power of a single water wheel. The electric biofuel maker is worth it. Well, I just wanted to make the water wheels just for the fun of it, to be honest. I didn't really have a need for the power, necessarily. Where was that cave I swam into? I'm getting storm exposure under the water. This is so lame. Make the storm exposure stop. We'll take a look at the power requirement for the materials processor in the tier 4 furnace. Oh. Shoot. I was, uh... Crap. He's acting like he's exposed, but I'm in a cave for crying out loud. Sir Patrick Star in the game? Sadly, no. We have SpongeBob and no Patrick. SpongeBob! The... 
pouring rain on me in here, but it, at least it's not saying I'm exposed. <laughs> oh, so many funny little glitches in this game. I don't know more than respawn or not, but now you know how the grass grows down there. Yeah. <laughs> Good whole physics. What do you mean rock stops wind? No, it doesn't. Also doesn't stop rain. <laughs> All right, we need to go deeper. Also, I'll be make the tool add-ons of the upgrade bench so they can give you plus 25% to gold, copper, plant, and titanium mining. Oh. Yeah. I probably should do that. the hard part I need to uh, I need to try to get as much copper as I can out of this cave but there's that whole area over there I can't go to because it just immediately puts me underwater potato the first shot but we got him mm, potato it's a good amount of iron in here but yeah, you can mine underwater, but it's just hard to see. Like, I can tell there's copper right there, but as soon as I go for it, I'm gonna be underwater. <laughs> Platinum up there. And we're underwater again. <laughs> the sound doesn't sync up when you're doing it either. Alright, so where are those awful worms? Wait, if I go down to wa the water line, will I fall into air? That one's coal. This one is iron. Hmm. 
Nope, I don't fall into air. <laughs> Such a weird bug. That's iron. Oh, aluminum I need. But again, on the plus side, at least I don't have to hold my breath in here, but... Iron. Copper. There we go. Time to use the report the problem button. <laughs> yeah, where is that button? Report an issue. There we go. Good enough. I'm terrible about remembering to use those things, so appreciate the uh, reminder. <laughs> that is copper right there, I swear. It is copper. Okay, I need my uh, need these back. Also nighttime again, so I can't see underwater again. Come on, game, let me up. <laughs> Titanium is a good find too. There's not enough of this around. Oh, the problem area again. <laughs> oh my god. All right, I think we got all the copper out of here, and I got pneumonia. Perfect. Can't go wrong with pneumonia. Let's get out of here. This one's bare of the copper resource. Ah, oh, crap. I'm going to have to swim underwater in the dark again. I swear I'm going to get lost in here one of these times. Just keep swimming, just keep swimming, just keep swimming, swimming, swimming. Typically using a state machine for the environment effects? Uh. Uh, seems like they were using too much of the glibber fobble and the ubel floil. <laughs> you know, if they could sort that out, then the game would probably run perfectly. Just saying. <laughs> I have no idea about anything about programming. I took a little bit of computer programming in high school, but that was like C++, and that was a very long time ago. You need fire arrows that you can shoot to light your way in the underwater cave. <laughs> I wonder if that would work. That'd be neat. I don't like this cave. It's too dark.
I think I see the exit. I think we're out. Just in time for a storm. I'm free! Here we have this problem with your dog. It's so cute that when you get up to do something, you see your dog pet her, play with her, and then forget what you were supposed to do. Yeah, but I do that with almost everything. <laughs> I often don't have to get up to play with her. She comes right to me with the toys. She's like, play with me, Dad. I'm like, all right, fine. Tug of War is her favorite. What do you mean I'm cheating? What are you talking about cheating? Because I didn't die? Is that what you're saying? Poisoned by one of those stupid fish. <laughs> Among other things, yes. Oh, okay. What did I cheat with? I don't understand. I don't recall cheating. I mean, not that I'm opposed to cheating, I just don't remember doing it. <laughs> Do water war eels work in the underwater caves? Uh, that's a good question. I don't know. I have your nose on, but YouTube didn't tell me you were live, and now I'm grumpy. Oh, sorry, Taylor. Um, it's important to note that you, notifications have to be turned on in multiple places in order to get them. It's really kind of annoying. Not only do you have to have, like, the all notifications on on the channel, but then you also have to have in your YouTube settings, uh, have it turned on to receive notifications. Yeah, and so, oh, sorry, I turned my light on. It's dark out, so it's, it's, it's very dark. I was swimming in the water and I couldn't use my torch. Um, so you have to have, you have to click all notifications on the channel, then you have to turn them on on YouTube, but then also if you if you expect to get them on your mobile phone, you have to turn it on in the mobile app. It's kind of annoying. It's a beefalo. Good old buffaloo. Oh, hold on. Take some of this bag with me. I can see my house. Can't hear my own brain, but I can see my house. Man, the weather in this place. I kind of wish it got quieter when you close the curtains. <laughs> Storm is still loud. Crops did not wither. We just harvested them, so I have uh, a bunch of water moulins. Uh, which lets me make more of this stuff. Those it helps to customize your notifications of the streamers you follow. I'll get accurate uh, ones once I set to do certain things. Yeah, they just they make it un unnecessarily cumbersome to try to do though. This is what it is, I guess. Uh, all right, I need more smeltified things. Oh my God, Smell that copper. Oh, I need wood in there. Beep. Check I just put this in there, I guess. Ah, uh, no, I really better shouldn't. There we go. 
I guess if I get enough of the coal stored up, I could use some of it for fueling things, but... Oh, I've got the carbon paste in here. You know, a whole lot more aluminum and aluminums. Eight titanium ingots, I have that. I gotta make steel screws. What about the steel? Oh wait, I have steel screws. Oh, get off the ladder. Okay, that's covered. Uh, aluminum, carbon fiber, and then like the oodles and mounds of electronics we have to make. It's gonna take a lot. So much. Literally one hour, 25 minutes after you went live, and while I'm here, watching you get the notifications you went live one hour ago, YouTube's messed up sometimes. It is. I also get a notification every time I go live telling me that I'm live. <laughs> I get an email from them every time. I guess in some ways, I guess it would be all right, because like with the, the channel hacking and stuff that happens to some people, at least you'd get a notification that you're live, and you'd be like, wait a minute, I'm not live. What you talking about? But most of the time, I feel like it's just noise. Too much noise. I need way more of this stuff, actually. Uh, oxide and wood, we gotta get more of, I guess. If we're gonna make a whole pile of chips, we need a whole lot of things. We need lots of epoxy, too. I'm just gonna knock some trees down. Although I imagine the storm did a good job of informing me already. Oh crap, it's dark out. <laughs> we'll do it in the morning. How much would you freak out of the notification that you were live if you were not live? Yeah, I would totally freak out, for sure. Uh, I've seen enough channels get hacked that... Uh, and they always seem to put up those... Uh, uh, Elon Musk, Tesla streams on them whenever they hack them. And and the worst part is, I see them in YouTube, and it has like 12,000 people watching it. And it's a recording of something from a year and a half ago that they're just playing. It's crazy. On somebody else's channel that they stole. It's also an attachment you can put on your knife that will increase how much bone you get from animals. Oh, that's fancy. Hey Katrina, I'm sorry to hear you had a crappy day. Hope the rest of the week turns out better. Who would have prevented the accidental stream? Well, you're assuming that I'm like sitting and watching my email notifications when I'm when I'm live, though. That's a little different. Or even not live, but like when I'm recording things, I don't tend to have my email up. So I wouldn't have known anyway. I don't think. All right. There's a like carbon fiber coming along. Oh, right. Oh, crap. Uh, right, I need a lot of a, I need a lot of epoxy. I took all the aluminum away, too. I need that. Dang it. Wait, I got the carbon paste. That's no good. <laughs> uh, that needs to go into here. Yeah, that's better. God. So easily confused. Had to put your cat down. Oh, I'm sorry to hear that. The big shame about pets is that they, uh, they just never last long enough. Poor things have too short of a lifespan.
I'm gonna make some of these at least. There's 16. Oh, I have gold ore in here. That's funny. Don't remember putting that there. I must have done that on the, like one of the early days. Okay, gotta go knock some trees down. Need more wood. Thank you for being here. You and your audience make things brighter. Well, thanks for enjoying the stream, Dallas. Doing the whole YouTube thing would be a whole lot less entertaining for me if uh, no one was interested in watching any of it. Curious it would fall on me. <laughs> it missed. Ash is like, come on, come on, come on. Oh. <laughs> Wait, people are interested in watching Fox? I thought they would, uh, we had to pay actors to show up in chat. Um, we prefer not to call them actors, Rabid. Um, they're um, paid support personnel. Paid support personnel. They're supporting my ego. <laughs> so it's funny, that other channel that I'm just doing a little bit of experimenting with, um, it has like no subscribers. It's like five subscribers or something like that, I think it has. <laughs> so when I post something over there, it'll get like two views, but it's all like no commentary sort of thing that I'm like, just toying around with a little bit. We yeah, have missed him by that much. Must be a huge strain to support Fox's ego. Yeah, it takes takes the strength of many men to support my. Well, no, many many women, many women to support my ego. Not many men. Allow me to clarify. <laughs> No, I'm not telling anybody what it is. Um, it's uh, it's my secret channel that I'm just playing with. I'm not doing anything groundbreaking over there. Like I said, it's not even it's like a no commentary channel, so that it doesn't even have like dialogue or anything. Purely experimental. Wait, we get paid? Oh, sorry, Cat. You're one of the non-paid actors? Support personnel? Not one of the non-paid support personnel? <laughs> you were just duped into showing up here by all the paid ones. Which goes to show the marketing plan is working perfectly. <laughs> Let me guess, is it only foxes? Oh, how did you know? Only foxes, that's right. That's exactly what it was. I mean, it, it doesn't have my, my, my typical style or whatever to it because it's, like, I don't talk in it. It's, so you're not really seeing all that much. Cryptic fox and spoken? Yeah, yeah, that's what it is. <laughs> Oh, I guess I'll stay anyways. Well, thanks. Welcome, Cat the Unicorn. All right, all you paid uh, support personnel, make sure you say hi to Cat uh, the Unicorn so she thinks that you're real people. <laughs> Actually, with the super chat, paid? I often pay you. Can I get a death, please? All right, I can't, I can't promise any deaths, but what I can do is shoot for a concussion, I guess.
Even when I'm trying, the tree won't fall on me. Come on. Timber! <laughs> it it literally levered like up over my head. I knew I had a hard head, but come on. There we go. Did I get? I didn't get a concussion. Minor injury. I need a I need a bigger, fatter tree. Ah ah. Ah, did that do it? No. Man, it's hard to get a concussion in this game these days. <sighs> Apparently my head is too hard. I don't, I don't know. This isn't working the way I thought it would. There we go. I think that's a concussion one. Yeah, oh, contusion. No, I have contusions. Yeah, baby. <laughs> yep. This is a strong axe, man. Two chops to knock a tree down. Oh, there we go. <laughs> there you go, Ashley. <laughs> Uh, perfectly planned death. We're just, we're not dead, we're just, we're resting. We're looking at the sky. We're enjoying the blueness of the Icarus skies. <laughs> Face tracking falling trees for science. It worked! <laughs> yeah, I got lumberjacked. Alright, where's my stuff now? This will be where I run into a bear now. Yeah, look how many trees I had to knock down. Just to No, you stay away from my stuff, you little Komodo jerk. Uh, all right. Water, O2 bottle, torch. Don't get any ideas, Komodo. That's what happens when you get too much wood. Yeah, apparently. Never the thing you want to happen happens when you get too much wood. It's only the thing you didn't want to happen. At least once you're married. <laughs> It'd be funny if they added a mechanic that had animals dragging out corpses. <laughs> and you'd have to like chase it down to like get your corpse back. Yeah, that'd be fun. <laughs> and by fun, I mean disastrous. Okay, how's this aluminum coming along? Uh, 37 aluminum. <laughs> Just a little short. Oh, it's still going. Okay. We got more. We got more of this, it's fine. It's all about the electronics now. Uh, and to make more of those, I need more of the coppers. Yeah, Shane, you know, it's gonna be alive, Shane, copper. Probably more epoxy would be good too. There's only had two there. Uh, more tree saps. I need to make more branches. More sticks. Oh, it's a stone house. No house fires after all. Not this time. Yeah, no house fires this time. Although apparently the storms have been changed in a way where they can still damage the stone house. I haven't seen it yet, but... Supposedly, the, uh, the stone building can still get damaged. If there's like a direct lightning strike to it. I don't I don't know how that works, but Oh, uh, more sap. That's right, Mr. Garrison. Uh I gotta get more sulfur. I have 
little bit in here, but that's not very much. Ooh, this storm sounds like a doozy. The sky doesn't look like it, though. <laughs> oh, there we go. Is that it? One little lightning bolt? Need 21 more deaths for 666. <laughs> nice. Hey, it's done with this stream. I guess I'll have to settle for Cryptic Fox. Wait, did I tape that out loud? Yes, you did, old school. Uh, I'd say welcome, but I guess I'll just have to settle for having you here. <laughs> welcome, everyone who's popping in from Nate's stream. Howdy, y'all. We guys had fun watching they play some Grounded. Current death count one, but it was on purpose. I dropped a bunch of trees on my head until I died because it actually paid me to. <laughs> Tornado approaching from the other side of the house. I'm like, man, this doesn't look like much of a storm. Meanwhile, the other side of the house. What if I can get blasted while I'm in the doorway? That'd be cool. Storm is dud. Don't worry, Fox, I don't even know who Nate is. <laughs> and Nate's a buddy of mine <laughs> that I got into streaming. We play Grounded together sometimes. And other games. Oh, there's other games to be played. Did I put a lightning rod out on this building? I don't remember. Did they add lightning rods? Oh, God! <laughs> Jesus! <laughs> it was not, not paying attention for Jaguars. God, scared them crap right out of me. Didn't hear the combat music over the, uh, over the weather. That is nuts. Ugh. Evil thing. Alright, where do I make refrigerators? There it is. Oh, that takes electronics too, of course. You know what, I think I'm gonna make the fridge before I make the, uh, materials processor. Because I think I, I have enough to make now. No, I don't. Crap. <laughs> welly, welly, welly then. Bastards with the super chat. Nate, who? I don't know that guy. Well, 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 if it isn't a Rallister of the UK Rallisters. UK stands for unknown. How's it going, Ralph? Don't worry, a lot of us watch both of you at the same time. Yeah, that's fine. I got no I got no beef. I was making jokes. Choppy choppy. Did you guys finally beat the assistant manager? Oh yeah, yeah, you guys were fighting the assistant manager, eh? That fight's that fight's messy. I can see it actually being harder with more people. Because there'd be like people everywhere. That was a test shot. Just making sure the bow worked. I totally didn't mean to step in there. <laughs> Please tell me I can get out. Please tell me I can get out. There we go. Gotta find sulfur. So I should check along the edge of the mountain. There's some. Kill the assistant manager. Very annoying fight. It's not so bad if you uh, if you manage the lasers well. It's that laser beam in the middle thing you gotta deal with. That's a pain. I guess all the ads aren't great. Either. Sulfur master, mine 1,000 sulfur. I got a little badge thing. Earned a medal. Died a lot. Oh, yeah. I mean, the trick with that fight when he starts like blasting the corners and using the laser in the middle a lot is just to crouch in the center and go the same, walk around in the same direction the laser beam goes. 
Definitely worth putting the melee attack speed attachment on your platinum tools, especially the pickaxe. Coupled with dried stringy meat, you'll blitz three ores in no time. Nice. Yeah, I have the um, I have the modification bench, but I haven't built any yet. I guess I should should look at what I need for some of those things. Cause I'm a slacker. Oh, I know what I needed. I needed more oxide too. They didn't tell you that. <laughs> Jumping all over the place trying to avoid those laser beams would be hard. I could see how you died a bunch. <laughs> Level 3 hammer with a few frenzy is easy. Well, it's not easy if you don't do a good job of avoiding the laser beams. So that's the... That's the thing that probably killed them a whole bunch was when it started to use the laser a lot in the middle. You get sliced and diced trying to jump the thing all the time. Don't forget to repair your tools. I mean, I don't have anything that's in bad repair right now. <laughs> Where does one find these friends to play with? These mythical friends. You're making them up, aren't you? Okay. Organic resin I need more of. Epoxy we need a bunch of too. Epoxy on your soul. How close am I to get in this stupid fridge? I need like a couple of electronics. Just a couple. Got any more of them electronics? Uh, I have 16. I need four more to make the fridge. Critter Fox is an expert in video game strategy and analysis. Yeah, absolutely old school. 100%. <clears throat> Pro skills. I earn those skills by dying a whole lot in the most stupid of ways possible. <laughs> Alright. I have a fridge. Uh, <laughs> and nowhere to put it down. Is there any bench here I don't really need right now? I mean, I guess I don't really need the decor bench at the moment. You know what? How big is this fridge? Put it right here. <laughs> That's not incongruous at all. I, I look like I'm living in the Stone Age and I have a, like a stainless steel refrigerator thing here. I mean, it's aluminum, but... It's like a stainless steel. In appearance, anyway. Alright. Now I gotta connect this to a node. Can I do that from under? I don't think I can do that from under there, can I? I see this wiring thing becoming a real pain. Boom! Fridge is plugged in. That's another 500. So I'm using 2,000 so far of the 4,000 we're producing. And now I can put my food in there so it doesn't spoil on me. Take up the useless repair bench. <laughs> yeah, I could do that too, I guess. I have a bunch of meat in here, too, I think. Yeah. Alright. Nice. My first electric fridge in this game. I feel so modern. I gotta build a proper kitchen for this thing now. Yeah, realistically, I guess I need a proper base. <laughs> This base is not exactly up to snuff now. It's lacking, uh, I don't know, space. I need more, eight more carbon fiber. Which requires more aluminum. 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 Titanium, I'm a little short on aluminum again. 
Uh, and I'm definitely not smelting anymore at the moment. Well, that's a thing. Only food you found you can't put in there is dough. Oh, okay. Put in some electric lights and connect them too. Yeah, I don't even know if I've unlocked them actually. Let's just see. Um, directional work lamps. Are they tier three? The electric lights. Composite dropship recall beacon. Call your dropship to your current location. Yeah, don't want that. Tier three light. There's a biofuel lamp. Advanced textiles. I guess I should unlock that just so I can get access to things like the buffalo harness. I don't care about the armor. Glass floor, yes please. It's aluminum minimum. Aluminum. <laughs> If you do an OW where they give you a, a beacon for the mission, you get to keep the beacon multiple times. Oh yeah. Yeah, I don't really, I don't really foresee needing to make one anytime in the near future. I guess if you're gonna like travel quite a ways away and you wanted to call the dropship to where you are, that could be handy. I don't really anticipate needing to do that though. There we go. Basic wall light, basic ceiling light. They have basic ones. If they got fancy ones like. Chandeliers or disco strobe lights or something. I don't care about the work lamps. We get an air conditioner. Eater's electric composter. Electric masonry bench. Hmm. Wait, is the masonry... Electric masonry bench, is that used for making the concrete and stuff? Power bench for heavy stonework and carving. I actually don't even know where you make the concrete in this game. I've never made it. Not even once. So where do I fabricate concrete pieces? Oh, there we go. It's in here. Steel rebar, oh, I see. I'm gonna need a whole lot of steel, I guess. Whole lot of steel! Uh, okay, so in here... Melee damage attachment will grant impact one when attached to an item, plus one melee damage. Attack speed attachment, this is the one you were saying I should make. Grant speedy one when attached to an item, plus 10% attack, melee attack speed. 10%'s not that really like great though. Supplemental respiration attachment. Titanium with one plus twenty five percent yield from mining titanium. That could be handy. Worksman 1, minus 15% stamina consumed by tools, minus 10% wear rate. Hmm. Hey Shirley, how you doing? <laughs> Hello, nurse! Fabu! Oh, never get to get it. Silencers and stuff I don't care about. Yeah, I guess we'll go with the uh, attack speed one. So that would require four steel ingots and four epoxy. I was making epoxy, so I've got that. The steel ingots might present a problem. Unless I have some left over here. I do, nice. Nope. Okay, so we'll go with the attack speed attachment. You filter by clicking the symbol on the left and go for a plus 25% gain. It pays off in the long run. Oh, wait. What? Stop. How's this now? P 
pickaxe attachment. 25% yield, 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 yield. These are all yield ones. You don't, I assume you can only have one attachment per item, right? So if I did like a titanium attachment... Foxy's concrete mixer looks away and then asks where they can make the concrete. <laughs> well, listen. Concrete's not just straight cement. Like, for example, I'm throwing rebar in I'm throwing rebar into the cement mixer and somehow coming out with concrete panels. <laughs> That's the advanced mod, you need the other bench. Oh, the the okay, to get this well, let me make this one for now. Try this out. Attachment slot available. Whoa, stop. How many was it making? Only one at one. Yep, dang. Crazy game. Uh, eh. Uh. Alter. I assume it only has one attachment slot. I ended up carrying a pick with each attachment, getting plus 25% uh, more from each node adds up, especially when you're doing nodes like gold and titanium. Yeah, I could see that. I guess if I'm making like a lot of computer chips too, even the copper one would be handy. Neat. No! Oh! No, stop! Stab it! No! Don't with the... How do you want to make it stop? Oh, it better not... It better not be wasting it. <laughs> I don't know why I thought remove was like... Remove the pickaxe from the thing. Yeah, you throw, you throw a rebar in the cement mixer and take out an entire concrete walls. It better not waste the... the, the uh, no, it didn't. Okay, that's fine. It's just that game where we put things on and take them off again and put them back on again. Mad skills. <laughs> Listen, I can screw up things perfectly well on my own. As evidenced by my screwing up. Well, while it's doing that, I'm going to make some more uh, of this stuff in here. Clearly, we're going to need a lot of steel. So we might as well get that underway. Take my pickaxe back. It doesn't feel that much faster, but I guess 10% is not really a crazy amount. Deja vu loop. Yeah, I, I don't understand how you might have seen that before. That's crazy. <laughs> Alright, so yeah, steel is going to be the name of the game, I think. Um, I feel like there was another cave that I didn't finish cleaning out. I don't remember where it was. Was it up here somewhere? Ah, oh, crap. Stop scratching me! Stupid animal! Shirley! Thanks for clicking the join button. Welcome to Duplicant. Appreciate the support. Another member of Team Green. Bloop. It's a majestic animal we're ripping to pieces. Oh, it's gone. It's not so majestic anymore. Don't worry, Fox, we're not laughing at you. We're laughing at you. Or with you, we're laughing at you. Or, or was it the other way around? Nope, it's definitely that way. Fairly certain you got it correct. Yeah, so I'm gonna build my base stretching across the water here. My only concern, as I'd said before, was that 
When you build near waterfalls, you can't get away from the sound of the waterfall. But we'll see what happens. So I'm thinking, like, I'll build my base spanning across this with the water wheels underneath, and then I can put, like, an access stairway down to one of the water wheels, because i got to clean those out, which actually that reminds me, how do I clean them out? Who does want to clean this thing out? Oh, look, there's stuff in here. Spoiled plants and sponge. Whoa! Okay, it propels you, by the way. Ah! There. Oh, look, raw fish. That's weird. How do you get a raw fish jammed in there? Building a base near Waterfall and Ark is a huge mistake. The water's so loud. Yeah, I mean, I might... If I, uh... Go into audio. Is the waterfall... Oh, the waterfall is an ambient sound. So I can make it I can make the waterfall noise manageable. Alright, that's way better. See? Perfect. Everything is awesome. Everything. Don't get any ideas about my water wheel, Komodo. Oh! Five hundred to the noggin! See now that's more likely to clock up the water wheel than those sponges. <laughs> you need ambient noise reduction. Yeah, me too. Around my house would be great. If I could turn down the ambient noise in my house, oh my god, it'd be like the best thing ever. World's best invention. All right, I'm assuming if I'm gonna make a bunch of concrete, I'm gonna need a lot of stone. <coughs> Mind you, I'm also gonna need to go and finish clearing out those caves, I guess. I'm gonna need a lot, a lot of steel for rebar. I tried noise canceling headphones. Yeah, I'm wearing them right now. <laughs> but my wife makes me take them off, and then, you know, that doesn't work anymore. So you should expand your base. Yeah, Brian, my intent was to just use this initial little base as my starting point. Um, just so I'd have something to, like, initially build up with, because it's just like a little hovel here, basically. And I'm going to make a bigger base here that spans across the river. Uh, and we'll try to make it more fancy-ish, or whatever. Because why not? If we're playing open world, we might as well make a, a good-sized base. Something that, I don't know, is a little more interesting. Yeah, definitely have to listen to Mrs. Fox. Failure to do so is... results in punishment. I can't take the beatings anymore. And the psychological torture. Your plugs and super glue. <laughs> All right, stone. Uh, so yeah, it does take concrete mix. So we're definitely gonna have to make a lot of concrete mix. <laughs> Fifteen. I'm gonna need a lot more silica, obviously. We'll get that going though, at least. So I got something started. Uh, steel ingots. I can throw those in here. I I don't even know what to do with this sponge. Cooling water cools you. All right, great. Plus twenty five water when consumed. <laughs> I can't can't consume it. I also can't I can't destroy it either. <laughs> Just throw it away over here. Maybe it'll despawn on its own over time. That thing's huge. Is that a sponge in your pocket, or are you happy to see me? 
He's gigantic, man. <laughs> oh, you're playing open world. Uh, then yeah, your base is small. Yeah, yeah I, I started off with just something really small to just sort of like get going, and then I figured I would just expand as it got. You know, I had more opportunity to get a larger base going. Um, all right, I need these for the smeltifying in here. I can go there. I'm seriously gonna need a lot of materials still. Maybe I should have put the 25% thing on here. So take to make the 25% copper attachment. Steel and screws. Oh, I have screws there. Screws and steel. Oh, not enough screws. Wait, it wasn't steel. What was it, iron? Oh, it's iron. Never mind. I can read. I know how to read. There we go. Copper attachment, because I'm going to need a lot of copper, so I might as well slap this on the... What is going on here? Get that out of there. Seriously, what's happening here? <laughs> there it goes. No, I'm not sure I can read. I'm lying to you because it's better for my ego if you don't realize the truth. <laughs> now that I put that speed attachment in there, let's take it back out again. I can run it back again. Attack speed. I wonder, does that affect the bow? I guess the bow would be more like a reload speed kind of thing, wouldn't it? I think I'm ready to work. See you all later. All right, see you, Shirley. Thanks for dropping in for a bit. I can go put the copper one in here now. It's not the fastest. I guess if you had the, uh, the advanced one, it'd probably go a little quicker, wouldn't it? Oh, I need to make... Oh, I guess I already did that. I can go there. This can go back in here. Look at these things. Raw meat in the fridge. That thing's gonna be handy, man. Why is my bow all glowy? Uh, it's just because I have a uh, I have a talent that makes it or um, makes it more effective. I think it's a combat one. Bows and crossbows. Now one of the one of these things I think in, improves the uh, the durability of it or something. Increased arrow damage. Hindering shot. I'm not sure. It's something like that. Durable 2, I guess, gives it the uh, the glowy look. Skinny Bench has raw meat still. Oh, does it? Because I ripped that Jaguar apart. That's right. Thank you. That out of there and put that in the fridge. Right there in the refrigerator. <laughs> it even sounds like a fridge. Open the door, close the door. Keep clicking on those darn candles. Debating making deviled eggs for a snack, what's your opinion on this?
What's my opinion on this? <laughs> Man, my, my OBS thing is super slow to respond to my stream deck lately. I need a sound effect that plays with that video. <laughs> I don't have any audio for it. It's dark out there. Let's go to sleep. Make it daytime. Devil eggs rock! Ugh, devil eggs are the worst. Eggs in general, though. It's beyond me how anyone manages to stomach them, but... Then again, I'm weird. Just confused. I thought I broke you. Yeah, <laughs> I was hitting the button, but it wasn't. It wasn't flipping over to the little animated thing. I was like, "Come on." <laughs> uh. Anyway. Uh. Pewter chips. If I, if I get more epoxy going here, I thought I had more. Where did I put the epoxy I made? There it is. More epoxy. Epoxy on your house. Came from an egg. That doesn't mean I have to want to eat it. You know? <laughs> I also happen to pass fecal matter, but I'm not going to choose to eat that just because it's there. <laughs> I am Canadian, yeah. Eat, eat coffee. Have you tried the javelins yet? I was able to kill a bear with three headshots, which is the basic wood ones. No, I really haven't. I just tend to use the bow all the time. Consume, consume, consume. Bo does a pretty good job. You know, when I hit with it, anyway. I slept and made it daytime, and it's still this dark. What kind of a storm is this? So I think I slept and made it daytime, didn't I? Yeah, I did. It's 7.30 in the morning. It feels very dark in the game for this time of day. Even taking the storm into account, because normally they don't affect the sky with the storm too much. Chickens would be sad. <laughs> Yeah, eggs are one of those foods that's, uh, generally speaking, like, one of the most flexible and ideal things to make things with, but I wish I could eat them. I just can't. Can I do it? Uh, I'm not using this thing. I'm going to pick this thing up. Um, we'll next to pick up. Pick it up. And then we'll just stash it in here for now. Seeing as how I can't, I literally can't do anything with it. How do you get the devil in the egg? I don't know, you put a little boogie in it? I don't know. Beats me. They're gross, though. Nasty. Nasty, nasty evil habits. But have I eaten a devil egg? No, I won't eat eggs. I can't even stand the smell of them. They smell, all I smell is sulfur and vomit. <laughs> Good old sulfur and vomit meal. Mmm, delish. Um, steel, there we go. That's what I want. Give me that steel. Oh, I know what I want. I want to make screws. And rebar. Combos or something else you can add that uh, will speed up production. This is a composter? What, for like farming stuff? Make fertilizer? I'm like, look, we got fertilizers. Oh, I need screws in here too, really? All right. 
Well, that's a thing. Uh, give me half of these also. Half of those. That's weird. Who uses screws when making cement? The rebar I get, but the screws? That's a little weird. Wow, that takes a lot of concrete mix. Oh my god. I can see this is going to take a lot. I'm going to need a lot of silica. Uh, let's go check the gold mine there and I'll see if I can... I might need to refill the uh, the fuel on that thing. What are my thoughts on chocolate eggs? They're good. Mmm, chocolate. Because they're not eggs, they're chocolate. I mean, I can eat things that have eggs in them, like baked goods or whatever, where you're not tasting the egg. Not just eating egg kind of thing. Cue the mining montage. Yeah, <laughs> smack, smack, smack. I need some, like, cool 80s music that's not cool at all to play while we mine. <laughs> if you ever do a meet and greet, you definitely get pelted by eggs. Not just the raw ones, but hard-boiled. I eat, See, the thing is, I eat mayonnaise because it doesn't taste like eggs. I know it's made from eggs, but it doesn't taste like eggs. I wouldn't, like, eat it straight, but I have it on sandwiches or whatever. So that I do. It's literally the taste and texture and everything of the eggs I can't do. How about egg whites? Maybe it's the yolk that's off putting? No, it's the uh, it's the whole thing, the whole the whole package. It's like I don't know how you can eat it. It's like this. It's like snot flavored Jello or something. Like I, I don't. Ugh. <laughs> can't do it. Won't do it. Won't even try. <laughs> At my age, I feel no compulsion to change it. Why is fast forward not working for YouTube mining? I don't know. It must have disabled it somehow. It's probably another YouTube glitch. I hear if you want to fast forward the mining, you have to click that join button or the super chat button. I heard I heard that works, but uh, don't quote me on it because you know that might also be just a lie being told by YouTube again. <laughs> you eat pineapple pizza, which is worse than eggs. No, it's not. It's pineapple. It's not eggs at all. And I do like it on pizza. I think it's it's particularly good paired with something spicy. Like just by itself, I don't think I would like it, but. Breakfast is limited for Fox, glad I like eggs. It does certainly limit things a little, yeah. Pancakes, waffles, BLT, hash browns, bacon, sausage, all that kind of stuff. Just can't do the egg part of it. I go to, I go to breakfast restaurants and I order uh, all of the, uh, like the sides basically. I like, like, can I just have this thing here, this like, lumberjack breakfast or whatever but without the eggs and I always get the weirdest look <laughs> they're like you don't want the eggs no no eggs please thank you are you sure you want something else <laughs> no I want everything else that's on here I just don't want the eggs <laughs> yeah yeah breakfast is tough I don't like eggs in my fried rice either I will eat it because because I, I can get away without tasting it if it's small enough that I can't see like chunks of it. But uh, I, I generally don't want it in there. Yeah, I got a decent amount of silica pretty fast. I was gonna go check the gold digging machine, but I saw the silica there and I was like, well, I need a lot of silica. I might as well grab it while we're here.
Yeah, the same texture problem with tomatoes. Well, I, I ate a bad one, uh, bad egg when I was a kid. And now I just have this automatic response. I've been classically conditioned. I just have an automatic response with eggs now. Everything about them. That's right, I'm very exacting in my tastes. <laughs> But I eat other things that other people don't like, like Brussels sprouts. I like Brussels sprouts. Could do with building a bridge over the river? I could, yeah. I intend to build my base over one part of it. Uh, a bridge over the other part might be a good idea. I haven't really been doing a lot of building um, in this gameplay so far. Mostly I've just been focused on exploration and like gathering the resources and trying to like level up the, the crafting options. Now we're at the point where we... Oh, here's my corn. Uh, now we're at the point where... Um, we've got a lot of that stuff unlocked. And I definitely am going to want to... Definitely want to do more building and stuff. Yeah, coming out hardcore there. Parkour, parkour. The drill is empty. Alright, we're, we're gonna have to refill that. Take the fuel can back with me. I guess I should make another fuel can so I can do a swap out in these situations as opposed to having to, like, make two trips. Have you heard of the the of Have you heard of Ballad They're Not Chicken Eggs? Uh yeah, I have heard of them. We were talking about those just the other day, actually. Balut is what you're talking about. The uh The duck eggs with the partially formed ducks inside. Yeah, no thanks. <laughs> Put a biofuel maker right next to the drill. Yeah, that's not a bad option. Except that if I end up placing multiple drills, then it's better to have the centrally located um, biofuel thing. Lightning storm. Uh, bloop. Very nice. More of this gold smelted up. Man, I wish I had this much gold at home. It'd be rich. Emu or ostrich eggs? No, egg, no eggs in general. I won't do it. Cannot, will not, won't not. Should not. And other knots. Whatever knots. Any knots. No knotting. <laughs> Uh, I really gotta find more copper. This is gonna be a challenge. Um, I'm sure there are more mines that I haven't identified. Oh, I should probably just, uh, hold on a second. I'm gonna pull up the, uh, Icarus Sticks, uh, open world map. Cave map. Icarus Intel's probably got something, right? Oh my god, there's so many things marked on here. Okay. J7. That doesn't look like the right map. That's not it. There we go. Okay, so there are uh, three mines over by the lake. So there's one that's actually in the water here, and then there's another one over here, and one over here. Uh, I've hit up the two mines that are down here. 
At the very least, I've gotten one of them. I should check to see about the other one. There's also another one over here. Maybe that's one we'll go check out. It's just around the bend. Just around the river bend. Hmm. Yeah, I'm gonna go check that one that's around the bend there. You can also uh, filter the Icarus Intel map so it shows you the deep core mining veins. Doesn't show you what the veins are, actually, but at least you know where they are. Yeah. I could do that. I try not to I try not to utilize the maps and stuff like that too much to give away too much detail. But yeah, that would probably speed up that process a bit. Uh, lightning storm, huh? Inventory's clear. Yeah, just go in the storm. What could go wrong? It's just a little lightning. It's still good. It's still good. Oh, I've still got that wire tool on me. Dang it. Put that thing away. Charity stream idea. Either eat a boiled egg or play Bennett Foddy. I don't know if anyone wants to see me throw up on stream. I feel like that would be counterproductive. <laughs> Could lightning kill you in the game? Yeah, you can get hit by it. I don't know how much damage it does. I don't think it's instant death. I think it does a certain amount of damage. But the storm itself can kill you. You see how I got that bar building up for storm exposure in the center? When it gets full, I'll start taking damage. Already almost there. There's a party over here, there's a party over there. So science time. I can't make the lightning hit me though. It's different with chopping a tree down, I can just stand under it, but... The lightning, uh, lightning goes where it will. Smoked by the storm a little bit. Probably should have built another torch before I came, but... Oh, I've already been here! Ah, oh, son of a... What are the odds there's still copper left in this mine? I wasn't really worried about copper at the start of the game. There's iron. Copper. Okay, good. There is still stuff in here. Oh, a whole bunch of stuff in here, actually. I see a few random things over there. And this cave doesn't plunge me underwater when I walk into it. Oh, he got me. <laughs> Under the water, no less. Oh, what happened there? I'm out. Oh, God, I'm out of arrows. I forgot to pick up my arrows again. Okay, this new lighting in the cave looks great. That's cool. Not possible, because I'm inside of a mountain. I'm not, like, under the ground, but... <clears throat> the change they made to the way the lighting works is really good. You the able cave worms. Yeah. 
Yoink. All right, we got some good stuff in here. Wish I had spare money, I would pay to see you stand on lightning rods to get <laughs> shocked. <laughs> I should try that sometime. Build a lightning rod and stand on top of it. I wonder if that would work. Theoretically, it should, I guess. I don't know if I need that gold or not. Oodles and scads of iron. Which bow is that? Uh, I'm using the uh, the cave worm bow. It's one you have to unlock by doing one of the quests that uh, gets you some of the cave worm stuff. There's arrows you can get with it as well that are like a poison arrow, but I find most things die to just a couple of arrows anyway, so I haven't really bothered with the poison ones. Uh, it's a little glowy in my inventory though because I have a um, I have a talent that increases the durability of the bows I make, so they made it glowy so that it you can tell, I guess. <laughs> Fly a kite like Ben Franklin. Just hang a little key on it. That'll be fine. <clears throat> How many shocks for Cryptic to reach the center of a grave? <laughs> Somebody's always trying to get me killed, man. I don't understand. Why? It's hurting my feelings. I did not mean to jump that far. That was weird. Come on. For a moment there, I thought I was going to stay out of reach. Um, oh, I see more over there. Out of the reach of my light. Oops. Sounded like I was playing with explosives there. Uh, Fox, do you like Angel Food Cake? I love Angel Food Cake. I also like meringue, even though meringue is made with eggs, but it doesn't taste like egg. Oh, I'm gonna need more of that. Um, more of the coal, too. Yeah, we're not trying to get you killed. We're just, we're just hoping it happens. There's a difference. One's entertainment, the other's manslaughter or something. <laughs> Thank goodness this copper was still here. Alright, well we'll get the copper started while I'm gathering more stuff here, I guess. <laughs> no, you're trying to get me go. I see that. <laughs> We don't want you dead, we just want you to buy games and show us what not to do. <laughs> I can certainly specialize in that. I don't do everything wrong in games, I just find it more entertaining just to sometimes do stupid things. That's right, Jazz. Sometimes. I 
Ash with a super chat. Elden Ring stream in the future to get me to 666. <laughs> uh, I really do want to play more Elden Ring. The only thing is that it does kind of terribly for me in terms of, like, viewership. Um, so I may still play it anyway just because I, I do want to finish the game. I just haven't made it a priority because it does so much worse than, like, survival games do. This game gives me a lot of uh, a lot of space for error, but almost everything wants to kill you. <laughs> yeah, I, the bears used to be the worst thing for me for a while until I got used to fighting them. Hey, Evil, how you doing? cares about viewership all that matters is increased death count hooray <laughs> the uh the channels that tend to do better with uh with games like elden ring are the people who are just ridiculously skilled at it at least in my experience or they've uh they've edited it down just to be like a more interesting condensed video i mean until you learn how to cheese it i don't know what you're talking about cheesing hey cheese nothing It's tactics. It's not cheese. It's tactics. Oh, come on. Don't jump backwards. There we go. Keep hitting B to build like I would in Grounded. <laughs> it's not how that works. Need to do a time lapse of you fighting bears at the Benny Hill theme song. <laughs> if we get copyrighted, nailed the copyright match. Oh, uh, okay. There's still iron left in here, but I think I got all the copper anyway. My carry capacity is full, though. I'm already going to have to dump off some iron here while I bring back the copper, which is more important to me right now. Yeah, we'll go that way. The rest of it can just smelt away here, I guess. Be careful, I only got a couple arrows here. We go toe-to-toe -to -toe with a bear, we might have to do do uh foxy bear boxing again. Uh, why? Yeah, that's what I thought. <laughs> Every time I pull that thing out by accident, it sounds like I'm holding explosives. Cue the bear. The Lumberjack song from Monty Python. <laughs> It'd be that appropriate for a lot of the games that I play, actually. <laughs> All that uh, resource gathering. Just kill, that's right. We're like evil poachers, only I'm the worst kind of poacher because I didn't even take anything from it. You thought poachers were bad. They specialize in being worse than poachers. It'd be funny if they added C4 you could remote detonate. That would be amazing, especially if it did damage to your friends and you could set up little traps. <laughs> like, come in the cave, guys. We're going to get some of this ore. And as soon as they walk in, you trigger it and just blow them all to kingdom come. <laughs> yeah, it's the Vorpal Bunny. Uh, copper activate. We'll smelt that too, I guess. We have gold. We got titanium. We've got aluminum. 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 It's 
coal can go in here because we're gonna need that for making more steel. This is set for more computer chips. Computer chippies. Limiting factor there's gonna be the organic resin or the epoxy. Neither of which I can do anything about. That's interesting. Um, okay, hold on. Fox was about to say smithereens. <laughs> this probably could use an expletive. They need to add NPC claim jumpers. I mean, there's probably a variety of things they could do with the game. It's very, uh... It... Like, I feel like they've got, like, the core elements of, like, the survival game are quite good, but the underlying story is is pretty weak. The graphics are good, the gameplay elements are good. But the, uh, the underlying purpose and what behind the game could be worked on a little bit, I think. At least in my opinion. I still like the game, but it's, uh... I don't know. It's, it's like they have the they have the setting and they have the, the actions and stuff right, but some of it could use a little retooling in terms of like the tier four being crazy expensive. But I've got enough arrows. We don't need no stinking arrows. Two arrows, two kills. It's perfect. Perfect. Uh, all right, so I needed, oh, I was making sticks. I'm gonna make a whole bunch of tree sap. And then we'll make a whole pile of epoxy. Cause I think I'm a little light on the bones. Under bones, 85 bones. <laughs> make a new knife and add the bone harvesting attachment. More bones for you to make epoxy out of. Yeah, that's probably a good idea. It seems like a reasonable option. Where is the the bone knife? Knife attachments. Attack speed. Prime meat. Carcass harvesting. Leather attachment. Melee damage. Plus 10% yield from creature bones and 10% yield from skinning fur. I mean, the fur I don't need, but obviously the bones would be handy. So I need six iron ingots and a fur. And some fur, anyway. I got a whole pile of fur in here. Bloop, bloop, bloop. I meat, tech speed, car carcass harvesting. And then we'll just make a little, I don't know, like a platinum knife or something in here, maybe? It's a throwing dagger. I don't want that. Javelins. Platinum knife. Oh, I don't have enough platinum in there. Now I do. Alright, slap that in here, and we got the carcass harvesting on it. Crush the bones for epoxy! Yeah, that's what I have been doing. Oh, apparently I ran out of fuel in my little... Can I put wood in those things? Oh, I can put wood in there. That's insane. Nothing like a candle that burns logs. <laughs> up here I don't feel like it accomplishes as much. Maybe I'll put it back a little bit farther. You can put it on... Nope. Can't put it on the stone bench. That's weird. Oh wait, there we can. That's super weird. Can I put it on top of this? Oh, I can! Yeah, baby! 
Just putting this thing on top of a top of a concrete furnace is definitely not going to melt those candles. <laughs> Make electric lights and save the woods. Ah, uh, yeah, I gotta I, I gotta get the materials and everything together for that. Still, that's fine. We'll do it later. No, oh, I need to eat too. Nummy nummy. All right, it is. Uh, it is after eleven of my time. I'm gonna call it for tonight. Next time we come back, we're gonna work on building a bigger base. I could be doing missions, but man, we've done so many missions in this game. Let's do some more building. Oh, there's fire. Uh, so I'm gonna build a base out of concrete and stuff. So I'm gonna need to gather some more resources and stuff uh, to make the, uh, the fancy concrete pieces that we'll require. But uh, thanks so much, everyone, for coming out tonight. Really appreciate it. Thank you also for the super chats this evening. I'm as always Cryptic Fox. I'll see all of you next time.